एवरी वन वेलकम एंड वेलकम बैक टू ग्रो मेड सो एज द एग्जाम डेट इज आउट एंड द एग्जाम इज नियर सो नीड टू फोकस मोर एंड डू द स्मार्ट वर्क सो आई एम बैक विद द सीरीज ऑफ द वन लाइनर इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द बायो केमिस्ट्री वन लाइनर सो ऑलरेडी द एनाटॉमी एंड द फिजियोलॉजी हैव बीन अपलोडेड ऑन माई यूट्यूब चैनल सो यू कैन वॉच इट फ्रॉम देयर एंड फॉर द पी डी एफ ज्वाइन द टेलीग्राम द ग्रुप लिंक इज गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स सो एसेलो एसिटेट ओक्सैलो एसिटेट इज डिराइव फ्रॉम विच अमाइनो एसिड सो द अमाइनो एसिड एंड द डिराइवेटिव अ मस्ट डू टॉपिक सो नोट इट डाउन अ लॉन्ग विद डिस्कसिंग द वन लाइनर्स एल बी ऑल्सो डिस्कसिंग द विच आर इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड ऑल्सो द इफेक्ट ऑल एनी अदर क्वेश्चन आर आस्ट इन रिलेशन विद दैट वी डिस्कस दो ऑल्सो ओके सो ओक्सैलो एसिटेट इज डिराइव फ्रॉम विच अमाइनो एसिड सो इट इज द एस पर टेट एस पर ओके then melanin is derived from which amino acid again the same question so it is the tyrosine so amino acid and its derivatives derivatives are must 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 to do topic and uh, let me also say that i have uploaded the biochemistry revision videos on my youtube channel so revision and it consists of some four videos in which all the important things which you must know have been discussed approx 20 to 30 minute videos it is so do watch those video also to make your biochemistry like uh, master the biochemistry okay then the next question uh, xerophthalmia or the conjunctival cirrhosis occurs due to deficiency of which vitamin so it is the vitamin a vitamin deficiencies and the function of the vitamins again a repeat topic so note it down vitamins is a must do from the biochemistry so you will be surely getting three or four marks easily if you do the vitamins then peripheral conversion of the thyroid hormone t4 to t3 is done by which enzyme so it is the diiodinase okay then next question so menkes hair disease uh, menkes kinky hair disease is due to deficiency of which so it occurs due to copper deficiency okay so again note it down micronutrient deficiencies like the zinc deficiency acrodermatitis enteropathica copper deficiency menkes this is like with excessive copper wilson's disease so this one is also important then mechanism of action of the anp like atrial natriuretic peptide how does it act so it acts by increasing the cyclic gmp and again cyclic gmp is a secondary messenger so it will again act by increasing this uh, quinal cyclase enzyme and then it will be converted so this whole is a pathway let's not go deep much into it just remember that anp atrial natriuretic peptide acts by increasing the cyclic gmp then enzyme deficient in case of classical galactosemia so this is also an important uh, what topic galactosemia because frequent questions are asked on the clinical features because one important feature associated with this is the cataract then other is this enzyme deficient so which enzyme is deficient it is the gal put one enzyme which is deficient frequently questions are asked on this one then subcellular organelle mostly associated with killing of virus and the bacteria so it is the lysosome so lysosome uh, kills the bacteria and also engulfs this bacteria and the viruses so uh, the function of the organelles is also important like mitochondria what does it do then uh, endoplasmic reticulum what does it do so do read all those things also then severe combined immunodeficiency occurs due to which uh, deficiency of which enzyme so it is the ada deficiency so deficiency of this enzyme will cause in the severe combined immunodeficiency okay then cholesterol is synthesized primarily from acetyl coa so acetyl coenzyme a will break down to give this cholesterol then thermogenin is released from which organelle so it is the mitochondria mitochondria will be releasing this thermogenin then moving on to the next question so lishnihan syndrome lishnihan syndrome occurs due to deficiency of which enzyme so it is the hgprt again note it down that this is also an important topic so questions are asked on the enzyme deficient and the clinical features like the self mutilating behavior it is the exling decisive so excellent dominant i think or oh no excellent recessive and males are most commonly affected for this nashnihan syndrome disease of this purine metabolism okay so uric acid will be increased and it will be causing this features so a must do topic then gene mutated in case of wilson's disease so wilson's disease there will be increased 
copper levels in the body and the gene mutated is the ATP7B asked multiple time Wilson's disease so the other things which you must know is increase in the serum copper levels and will be causing some cataract and the KF ring and uh, these coppers will be deposited in the liver causing spleno uh, sorry hepatomegaly and yes so these are the important things for the Wilson's disease again a repeat topic a must do then next question type of the DNA repair seen in case of zero derma pigmentosa again a repeat question so it is the nucleotide excision then the next question cofactor for the glutathione peroxidase so this is an enzyme cofactor for this one is the selenium selenium acts as a cofactor that means it will increase the um, what uh, increase supportive like it gives a support for, to this glutathione peroxidase to show its uh, action okay then uh, the corneal transparency is maintained by which glycosaminoglycan so it is the keratin sulfate okay keratin sulfate will be maintaining this corneal transparency again a repeat topic then zinc acts as a cofactor for which enzyme so it is the carbonic anhydrase enzyme so all these important things you know i have discussed in the revision video so if you watch just those revision videos no it will be more than enough for the biochemistry and all the important things which you must know will be covered from that so watch those videos at least twice and revise the notes marker for the vitamin b1 deficiency is the transketolase then the next question in familial or uh, in primary familial hypercholesterolemia there is defect in which substance so it is the opolipoprotein b which opoprotein b which will be defect okay then hmp shunt is of great importance in the cellular metabolism because it produces which substance so it produces nadp h n a d p h okay then uh, next question immunoglobulin that is pentamer so it is the IgM immunoglobulin M is the pentamer so its structure is something like this so five antibodies together will be forming this immunoglobulin so immunoglobulin also a must do topic questions are asked like the immunoglobulins which is abundant in the plasma protein then um, which is this pentamer then which is increased in case of allergic which is the IgE all these are important asked uh, multiple times then enzyme that is deficient in the albinism is tyrosinase so tyrosinase enzyme deficiency will be causing albinism that is the white patching so albinism means um, uh, melanocytes will be not forming due to which there will be white patches seen okay the white hair then um, fair skin and sometimes the uh, eyeball will also be affected giving a different color okay then delayed wound healing is seen in deficiency of which vitamin so it is the vitamin c because vitamin c is involved in the post vitamin this one is involved in the post translation modification of the collagen so if there is defect in the collagen then there will be defect in the formation of the connective tissue then it will lead to this delayed wound healing so vitamin c deficiency will cause wound dealing delayed wound healing then the products of oxidation of or chain fatty acid is acetyl acetoacyl coenzyme Acyline acetyl, acetoacetyl coenzyme A. So, the product of oxidation of orange and fatty acid. Okay. So, these are some important one liners asked in the biochemistry, and we have discussed like the important uh, things also which you must know the amino acids, then the glycogen storage diseases that is also important. Then, this Lishnihan syndrome, then the other things like the immunoglobulin, the cofactors for the enzyme, all these things are a must do topic. So, yes uh, cover try to cover the important things in this 10 20 minutes like 20 minutes so that um, in a very short time you will be recalling a lot of things okay so thank you so much for watching this video if you like the video um, share it with your friends and if you find it useful comment below and if you want more such videos uh, then also comment below okay thank you so much join with me on the telegram channel and all the best for the exam